Hi, Polly. Hello. This is nice having you here. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Welcome to the PLT podcast. We're all ready in the pajamas. We are. are you feeling comfortable? Very. I'm ready. In my silk PJs. Ready to get to know you. Yeah. So, Polly, you're a beauty influencer, a makeup artist, and a businesswoman. Mm-hmm. You're doing quite a lot right now. I know. I feel like it's so full on, but it's all good. We're going to yeah. learn how full on it is because there must be so much going on in your life, and I cannot wait to find out everything. But can you take me back to the beginning of how kind of you started how did you first start in the industry was it through instagram was it through Mm. makeup like where did you begin do you know what i started through instagram but i was just literally posting like what i wanted when i wanted and i genuinely like it's so hard when people ask like oh how did you get into influencing but i genuinely think it was from like one one selfie i put up loads of like um scandinavian inspo pages were like reposting it was it yeah Stop. and I was like whoa I woke up one day and I was like what the hell is this I've got like loads of like random likes and followers and then from that literally I feel like that was like my stepping the stone into like my following just grew from there really wow it was just like one photo of me with like long blonde hair literally just like a normal selfie can you describe the photo so if I went back to your to your page if I went like all the way down would I yeah. find that picture yeah so probably. I'm gonna do that tonight yeah <laughs> and it had that like what do you know that white border like oh my god remember on. the white borders to extend the side the white border and then I think border I was wearing like border. a fedora hat I don't know why it went it didn't go viral but I don't know why it got so popular went off. yeah and how many followers do you think you had then when you did post a picture before it went off I remember it was like I think I reached a thousand I was like oh my god I've no. got a thousand followers yeah it was like probably like four years ago I was like, what? And then I feel like within a matter of weeks, it was like 2,000 and then 3,000. Oh then my it just, God. Yeah. And you've got half a million thousand. Half, yeah. a, mil- half, half a million, half a million thousand. thousand. <laughs> Hold on, we're adding numbers on here. Half a million followers right no. now. Yeah. Wow. I feel like now it's sort of steady and I've got my, I've got my followers that are like sort of- Invested in you. Invested mm-hmm. in me, yeah. Like I don't think I grow as quick as I, I used to because I feel like everyone's got Instagram now. Mm. There's not that many like new sort of people coming yeah. on board. And I'm just like doing my own thing with my salon and my products. But yeah, I think it's going well like the stage that I'm at. But that's it, you've got so much going on. So I need to ask, were you a makeup artist before Instagram? No, no, I used to work at, um, so I used to work in a PR office, a fashion PR office in Did London. You? Oh my yeah. gosh, you're a bit like us. I know, oh, I, I literally, yes. Yeah. So when I had lunch with the girls, I was like, oh my God, I literally used, used to do, to do you, this. Yeah, but I was an admin assistant. So I used okay. to just do like admin jobs basically in the office, yeah. but I would go to like the press events they put on, to go to like breakfasts with bloggers and things like that. And I always used to be like, oh my God, blogging looks so much fun. Like they get to go to these events, like they've just like take photos in like yeah, cool outfits yeah. and stuff like that. But I never thought that like it was something that I could do. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't even think it was like in reach. Um, and then I just sort of, I was like, this isn't for me. Like I wasn't really progressing or whatever. Yeah. But at the same time I loved doing makeup and I just was like obsessive. I used to watch like YouTube all the time. Like Carly Bible was like my, yes. my like oh my favorite God. person to watch. And mm-hmm. um, and then from there, I was like, I feel like I want to do something with makeup, but because it wasn't a big thing, like it wasn't big on Instagram. That's crazy to say that getting your wasn't makeup done on... wasn't that like popular. Like other yeah. than like bridal and prom, I would say makeup like wasn't a thing to do. It was more right. like about the outfit. So then I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to leave my job. I started doing freelancing from home. Okay. So I was just sort of I used my platform then to get some clients in used to do makeup from home in my parents spare room no way and I was doing that for about must have been like yeah about two years but did you train to be a makeup artist or was no, it just like I natural? literally just taught myself yeah oh my god I feel like I already knew I was always like quite good at my good own at mm-hmm. and then I would just start doing like my friends and stuff to practice but wow yeah I grew my client base up from home and then I got um a little studio just where I live and then now I've got my salon which is that's oh cool. Yeah. God, yeah, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on, but yeah. I wanna ask you, something that I love talking about with the girls is makeup when we were younger. Yeah. So I guess we're a similar age, and yeah. when we were younger, we weren't blessed with what makeup was around, you know, what, what's oh around God, now, no. what people have got. Like Dream you know, Matte Moose. What was in your high school makeup bag? Literally, Dream Matte Moose, like moisturizer to start off because of, Dream Matte Moose Wait, you to, used moisturizer with yeah, it? I Wait, at least you were clever. I never used it, I was Christy. <laughs> I used to tell everyone, I was like, put E45 on beforehand, no. like you need the moisture. And then Dream Matte Moose, all over the lips, obviously. Cover the whole lips and the eyebrows. Did you just cover the eyebrows yeah, too? Yeah, no I didn't brow, have eyebrows. Like, we didn't have any brows. Mm-hmm. And then I think I used to put like a bit of like black or blue pencil in my waterline. Blue, we love to blue. Blue, make those Could eyes Could you imagine pop. doing that now? 
Oh, could you imagine? I know. Like, girls look so good now. Like, don't they? High school girls look unreal. And I'm like, I don't even want to look back at my high school pictures. No, I know. It makes me so cringe. Bad. Makes me cringe. Um, what else was in there? I think probably like a clear gloss and a mascara. Okay, so compare it to now. What's in your makeup bag now? Like, what are your key products? And we can definitely plug Makeup by Polly, which is okay. available <laughs> on Pretty Little Thing, guys. So my key products now, I feel like I've had the same key products for ages, but I just can't I'm so venture excited. out. Go on. Okay, so Primer, Benefit Professional. Mm. Love that. Yeah, I've got really oily good. skin, so I need that. Do you? Yeah, I've got really oily skin. You'd never know. It probably looks really matte now, but it's because I powder you up. You wouldn't ever know. Really? Okay, so yeah, Benefit Professional and then Estee Lauder Double Wear. Oh yeah, I know That's you an OG. That mm -hmm. Um, I've tried so many others, but that one just sticks on my skin so well. Yeah. Um, and then I've got Tarte Shape Tape. It's one of my favorites. Shape Tape. I'm a big fan of Shape um, Tape. I love all the MAC bronzers. Yeah. Yeah. So they're the staples. They're my staples. And then obviously Makeup by Polly Eyeshadow Palette. Mm-hmm. Tell us, tell us got about got the to. palette. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like all my favorite tones. So like, there's like a nude, Warms. warm brown, mm. oranges, everything that's like, I feel like it suits everyone. Yeah. Um. So definitely that. And then lashes, Makeup by Polly. Of what course. lashes have you got on? I love those. I've got tatty lashes. Have you? They're also available on PLT, but I need to try Polly's too. I will. I will get around yeah. to that. So what made you decide to turn like this passion of yours into a business? And how did you kind of get from being a girl that's doing makeup in a parent's spare bedroom yeah. to being the owner, CEO, boss of Makeup by Polly? Do you know what? It's so weird because like back in the day, like if someone said to me, you will have your own makeup products, I'd be like, what? No, no way. That's completely yeah. like so out of reach. But once the in like Instagram started go go getting going and mm -hmm. I got my following and I saw other influencers like launching their own makeup brands and clothing brands, I was like, hold on a minute. I work with makeup every yeah. single day. Like I use products all the time. Like why can't I have my own products yeah. that I can use yeah. and that I can sell to my clients? I literally just thought I was just gonna sell them to my clients. I didn't think that it would be on Pretty Little Thing or that. I'd be Wait, like, so you didn't even, th like it wasn't? No, I was like, oh my God, I can just sell it in my studio. I was like, brilliant, Stop. I can make a bit of money. And that's how it started? Yeah, I genuinely was like, oh, I was fine. Like I, I've got like my client base or whatever and yeah. you know, I'll launch my website, but I didn't ever think that I would have it on like one of the biggest like retailers in the world. Like no way. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. So it did take, a, it took a while, like from the initial like thought, I'm gonna like have my own makeup products to mm -hmm. launching it, it probably took about a year like the whole process right just because i wanted to do it properly like i didn't i wanted to launch like a few things as well because yeah. i feel like i didn't want, i didn't just want to come out with like one, one lip gloss product, or yeah, yeah. yeah like i i knew to have a full face of makeup you need all those products so i was like i'm going to launch quite a few and then hopefully i'll have a full line of makeup um so it did take quite a while and mm. i've like, had to invest like all my money into it so it's been such a journey and it was such a risk almost as yeah, well was because it, scary? it was like launch it, literally it's how weird i launched one year ago today oh my god congratulations it's your anniversary of makeup weird. by it came up on oh facebook of all can we have things. a clap in the room guys <laughs> i love a clap in the Thanks, room guys. that's amazing I no i full on just got shivers from that literally i was like sitting in bed this that's morning so i went weird. on facebook i never got on facebook and it was like um you know they do like a memory the like anniversary one, yeah the anniversary one year ago today you launched makeup by Polly. i was like Whoa. I'm not gonna we're, we're literally here today to talk about you and Makeup by Polly, like it's a massive part of I feel like it's come, you. come like full circle, it's so. Oh my God, I just feel weird. like that was like, this was meant to be, this it podcast was. is meant it to was, be. It was, isn't it? Honestly. The fact that it wasn't even like. It wasn't even massively in. planned, we were just no. like, are you free? Like you're in Manchester, can you jump on the podcast? Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So yeah, one year ago today. And then, yeah, the last year has just been mental. But not crazy busy with my yeah. makeup because I've, I've not actually launched anything for quite a while, like right. the last like 10 months. but you know, getting it into mm -hmm. other retailers and yeah. having to do like businessy things that I literally never how, thought I would have to do. How do you like learn to do that? Because I mean, I literally I just learn along the way. Do you? Yeah. Like I just have to ask loads of questions because I don't know what anything means. Like all these <laughs> forms, the like new line form. I'm like, I don't know what these are. Like, <laughs> So who helps you? Like how do My you... dad helps me. Does he? Yeah, massively. Like oh, he's got a really amazing. good, like my parents, both my parents are, really like hard workers and yeah. business people. So they've given me so much advice that I just yeah, can't thank them enough for. But yeah, a lot of the stuff I just have to learn as I go, mm -hmm. which is probably the best way to learn because you're just, you, you actually learn rather yeah, than being exactly. spoon fed, you are learning as you go. 
And you've also showcased Makeup by Polly on YouTube. I mean, I yes. have loved watching the tutorial. So Aww, I need to know, are you I ever going to do any more? Because I need to do more. you're so good on YouTube. I and know. I know it's just such, it's a big thing when you've got it Instagram, is. you've got a business, you've got your salon, which we're going to yeah. go into in a minute. But will you ever do any more? Yeah. I feel like people want to know. The planet, like I actually bought a camera back when I was working in London and I was like, I'm going to start YouTube. Because I, I loved Holly Boone. Like Holly Boone and Carly Bible were my like, people I used to watch all the time. And I was thinking, oh, I need to do this because I love watching them and I, I can do makeup. So I bought a camera and since then I've actually never posted a video apart from my one or I did, did two. did a tutorial and then there was another yeah, one, wasn't there? I did two tutorials. But yeah, I need to get on it. I, just... I literally watched that. Like I was I was watching it at work. <laughs> Sorry, Uma. <laughs> and um, I couldn't stop looking at it. Like, no. I, do you know when, you, when sometimes I'm really into makeup. So sometimes when certain people come up, I'm like, completely fixated and yeah. I was like oh my god I need to see how she does that yeah how are you shaping that eyebrow I know. need to know <laughs> I know I need to do more but I actually had a production team do that for me did you yeah. oh well so then now amazing. I feel like I've set the bar and then I'm like <laughs> I have to edit myself and so forth it's not going to be as good so but um, you're a businesswoman now you're too busy to be editing yourself I know that's it it's the time there's not enough hours mm -hmm. in the day to do it all and I think I'm gonna throw myself more into YouTube and wow. just trying to, I feel like I get more sales when I do videos and things like yeah, that. Because so obviously people, see people wanna see it like visually. Just yeah. seeing a photo or a swatch isn't enough these days that like you need to show how to use the products. Cause I forget there's, there's people out there that don't actually, not know how to do makeup, but you know, they have all these products and they don't necessarily they don't know, know what to do to with them. What order, what, yeah. That's the thing, yeah, so yeah. YouTube's my next thing. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, let me know when it's coming back I because will. I'm excited. I but will. you've also just opened your own salon, Glam by Polly. How long has yeah. it been open now? Congratulations on Literally that as well. two months. Wow. I know. What an achievement. Was that always in the plan or? Um, I think once I opened my studio, I literally from like the day of my studio, I loved it, but I, I would always say like, okay, salon's next, like definitely. Yeah. Because having a little studio, I feel like I outgrew it so quickly. Yeah. Initially it was just for me to be in there, just doing my clients instead of like my spare room. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I outgrew it and all my clients would be like, can I book in for a blow dry? Do you do nails, do this? And I was like, oh, I don't, I just do makeup. Like, mm -hmm. and I hate turning people down. Yeah. And I myself love to like get everything done in one place. Yeah. So I thought, do you know what? Opening up a salon where I can get literally every single treatment done in one building is like the dream. So I thought I need to do that. That's incredible. <laughs> and there's nowhere like that round by us. There's so many up here, but down by in Hertfordshire, there's like, there's really hardly any. So I knew that that was, it was sort of like, people asking for it almost. So everyone must be really happy in Hertfordshire right now. Cause I, mean, I wanna I go to so. Hertfordshire and see this salon. <laughs> I hope so, yeah. But you've now got staff. Yeah. Like, did you ever picture your life, like let's say, Three years ago even, did you no. ever imagine that this is where it was gonna go? No, there's like 12 of us that work there. Like, Stop. Yeah, I feel like it's Did you still so... work there? Yeah. What? I know, I still work there, yeah. How are you running, a, how are you running like two businesses? Like, I feel like the salon girls are like, why wow. are you still here, aren't you busy? And I'm like, I'm so busy, Like, but I just love being here. Like, I'll do my emails like from, from the salon. Yeah. And if I'm not, I've got a day off or whatever, I'll just be in the salon and I still work on Saturdays. I still do like a full day of clients. No yeah. Because I feel like the clients coming to my salon are my original, like yeah, my the that supported you from the bread beginning. and butter clients. Yeah. So for me just to be like, open this salon and be like, sorry guys, I'm too busy. Like I can't, I can't do your makeup anymore. I feel like they would just, They'd probably still come back, but not as regularly. And yeah. like I'd be letting people down a bit. Cause it's glam by Polly. Like they'd be like, where's Polly? Does this Polly exist or is she just like? But you know what? I just know, I didn't even expect, like I didn't realize you still did makeup for people. Yeah, I know. Like, which is incredible. Cause that you are juggling a hell mm. of a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Do you think there will ever be a time in the near future where you do have to step away from it? Or are you really not thinking about that yet? No, I'll definitely have to because I, I, yeah, it's physically not possible to put all of my energy into all of them. every place at one And time. I feel like this year, especially, I've sort of not given as much time into my products, which is, which is my, to me, that's like my baby. Yeah. I love my salon and that is my baby as well. My products are something <laughs> that too. I've created. Yeah. And I don't want that to fall behind because I'm busy doing other things. Mm. And I love Instagram as well, but again, I don't see me doing that for the next 20 years. Whereas I see myself selling products, hopefully, for wow. the next however long. Hopefully. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I've got to ask, what is the best thing about being a girl boss? 
<laughs> do you ever do you consider yourself a girl boss? Because you are. No. Like I, obviously, <laughs> like I do. Yeah, I feel like a girl boss sometimes when I'm in meetings. I'm like, oh, I'm a boss. <laughs> but day to day, I genuinely feel just like I don't know. It's so weird. I, I just don't feel like a girl boss. Like, no. <laughs> don't think like that. No. And with everything that you do, so you are an influencer at the same mm-hmm. time as being a businesswoman and a girl boss. What's the craziest sort of opportunity you've had so far through your journey? I would say the biggest opportunity was when I got asked if I could do like an exclusive lash range in one of like the biggest retailers. Wow. And also pretty little thing. Like when I got that email really? to speak to the buyers, I literally, it was like, I was like screaming. When I had to go downstairs and be like, mom, dad, I just got an email from pretty little thing. And they were like, they literally couldn't believe it either. And we were like, so excited. Oh my God, that's actually so nice to hear, isn't it? Because we do feel like PLT is like our family. So I know. For us to it hear is, that is so lovely. Yeah. And like all my friends are like, I can't believe you're on Pretty Little Thing. Like it's such, because obviously I work with you guys yeah. and it is so exciting for me, but like, you know, Pretty Little Thing is huge now. Like yeah. it's worldwide. And when I actually think about it and like step back, I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I still can't believe that my products are on the website. You're just absolutely killing it. You literally are. I've probably said it like a million times Aww. in this podcast already, but you really are. Thank you. It's really sweet. Would you say that social media has played a part to your success? 100%. Yeah. I don't think without social media, I wouldn't be where I am now. Obviously. Really? No, not at all. May I think maybe I might have a salon or I might still be doing makeup but yeah. no way would I have been able to have these opportunities without social media like it's just broadened my horizons oh I love that word I know I don't know where that came from love but it. roll with it yeah I feel like it's given me so many amazing opportunities and where do you see your business going like you've just spoken about new products is there any new products coming this year what's next so we've got a mini Christmas collection coming stop which is exciting so yeah exciting Christmas collection and then I've got loads of stuff coming up actually they're in production at the minute but for for sort of like springtime next year okay yeah and what can we expect from the Christmas collection are you keeping it under wraps so oh that was quite Christmassy keeping it under wraps wraps. (laughs) um so we've got a lot of glitter nice party season a lot of yeah what you can expect from a Christmas collection, I hope. Okay, and do we, do we know when it drops yet, or? Beginning of November, hopefully, so Ooh, not long. okay. Yeah. Will it be available on PLT? I uh, hopefully, I hope I'm not so. sure. <laughs> I'll speak to the buyers. Everyone <laughs> listening? Yeah, money. Molly, Molly, <laughs> if you're listening, let's get it on. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. And what advice would you give to anyone who is wanting to start a business or venture into the beauty industry? I would say just go with it. Like, don't be afraid. Obviously, mm-hmm. you have to, t- there are some risks you have to take, but you also have to be careful with money and things mm-hmm. like that. But for people that ask me, like, oh, I really want to do this, I want to do that. I'm like, just do it. Honestly, like, I wish I did it sooner. I almost yeah. wish I launched my product sooner. I opened my salon sooner because not that opportunities are going, but there's more people doing it. There's yeah, more people, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, launching brands and doing that. So, I feel like just as soon as you have that idea, just run with it. Mm-hmm. That's probably, yeah, I wish I did that basically. And things with YouTube, like I wish I did that sooner. Like it's now so much harder to, yeah. you know, grow on YouTube. And yeah, if you've, if you've I would just say, just to just so do So if you've got yeah. a dream, just go and live it. Basically. Which you are, which yeah. is amazing. And your Instagram is absolutely perfect. It is perfect. Think? Yeah. But what is your day to day like? What Like what is a life like of Polly? Life of Polly. That sounds like a movie. Life of Polly. Life of Polly. Very chilled. Is it? Yeah. I don't think it's as glam as people think. Really? Not at all. Do you wear makeup every day? No. Really? No. I wear makeup probably like once a week. Do you? Yeah. When you've got an appointment? When I've got, yeah. An appointment, that sounds wrong. When you've got work. When I've got, yeah. When I've got a meeting or something like that, then I'll put some makeup on. But every day I'm just in my gym gear, in the salon. I feel like I've got two different sides to me. Like one side's like... (laughs) the slob like that will just go into the salon got my friends around me in Hertfordshire and then I come to like Manchester or London and I'm like glammed up and I'm like an influencer (laughs) and it's just like but it's nice because I can almost detach myself from that Instagram life it's Mm -hmm. not so full-on so I've sort of found a balance between the two whereas last year like I found it quite hard I I felt I don't know I felt a lot a lot more pressure and I've been able to step back from it and realise mm. like Instagram isn't everything. Mm. Like a yeah, it's not it's not the, you know, be on and all. Yeah. What do you think brought all that pressure on like last year? 
I think launching my brand, it, as exciting as it was, it just was a lot of stress that mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting. And there almost, it wasn't any pressure from Instagram because people didn't even know I was launching a brand. Like right. it wasn't pressure that my followers are giving me or anything like that. It was just pressure that I was giving myself. Yeah, I would just add pressure. I'd give myself like, you know, deadlines and things like that. Like I needed it out before Christmas and I just, had so much on my plate like trying to you know post on Instagram also Mm. doing the salon and the products it all just got like way too much so how did you find a balance so you you say you're now in a happy place with it yeah where how do you find that balance between I literally had to like I just had to sit down and be like this is not okay like I just had so much on that I genuinely had to sit down and write it all on a piece of paper and be like what do I need to spend the most time doing what is gonna you know, give, what am I gonna benefit the most from? Mm. Not money wise, not anything, but like headspace wise, what am I getting out from it? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like Instagram was almost, not at the bottom of my list, but it was sort of down there with, okay, if I don't post every single day, like I have been for the last three years, it's not the end of the world. Relax, no one's like, (laughs) no one's telling you off, it's fine. Um, And I found that, you know, my products were the most important thing to me that I wanted I wanted to get them out there and I wanted to get that all going. So yeah. I did just decide to focus on that a bit more. And I wanna know, what do you like to do when you're not working or you're not doing makeup or not being glam by Polly? When I'm not working, I will literally just like chill with my boyfriend, put my phone away and relax. Just try and switch off from it all. I think like being with my boyfriend especially, he's not an influencer. He's not mm. even on he's got Instagram but he just follows like me, David Beckham and Ronaldo. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh perfect perfect boyfriend. Well, it is quite handy. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite nice being with him because it makes me switch off from work. Mm. He can just like take my mind off things. We'll just have a laugh, so and you're quite a private person, aren't you? Yeah. So I was wondering, actually, my next question was... Do I have a boyfriend? Do you have a boyfriend? Because yeah. I've seen a few cute pictures on the gram. I know. But I'm like, you know, I get that all the on? time. People are like, are you in a relationship? I'm like, yeah, I'm still with him. Just because I'm posting, I'm not posting about yeah. him. Doesn't mean I'm not with him. But yeah, we're still together. Been together for like four years. Really? Just bought a house. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God, another congratulations. I feel Thank like we should you. clap again. <laughs> yeah, but just bought a house. Um, That's amazing. So that would be good. Yeah. So... Do you find it difficult to kind of keep your private life private when people kind of want to know so much? Mm. Or do you are you really good at keeping it separate? I keep it separate because I feel like he wants to be separate from yeah. that. And also, yeah, it's, it's pretty much like his choice. And I mm-hmm. respect that, that he doesn't want to be all over my Instagram. Like I try all the time to like take stories or like Insta stories of him do and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, oh my God, no, can you take that off now? And I'm like, no one even cares <laughs> but I care like I want to put you on there he's just like he just is quite critical of himself yeah. like from it's a camera not his thing, no it's not his thing at all um and he keeps being like oh I might might start in, on, on Instagram and I'm like no <laughs> I don't like it I'm like no that's not that he can't you're not gonna do it right though yeah. he's not gonna do it right I'm like no it's too late. you can't just start <laughs> no, without like, knowing what is gonna be the first photo like what are you gonna draw oh god what could it be yeah you just don't need that kind of worry in your life I don't I'll be worrying about his Instagram <laughs> and mine I'll be editing two photos yeah you just you do not he need that he still gets me to edit a little bit I'm, does it, he because he does like use Facebook and stuff oh my <laughs> so god he'll send me a photo and be like can you edit this? And I'm Stop. like, yes. Why not? Let see? me sort this Get out. The out of the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all, yeah. I love so, that. yeah. Do you get asked all the time though? You must get DM'd constantly by fans mm. and by girls and mm. I'm sure boys as well. Do you get asked about your boyfriend a lot? Always. It's one of my biggest questions. Is it? Yeah. It's like, do you have a boyfriend? I'm like, yes. Same as yeah, same <laughs> answer as it was like a month ago. Wow. Um, but yeah, I just don't show it as much. But yeah, I think it works better for us because yeah. then like Instagram isn't a part of our relationship at all. Yeah. Like he knows I've got to do my thing with And it is, it's photos. your job, yeah. Does he take your photos? Yeah, a Does lot of he? the time, yeah. Ooh, he's a good photographer. I know, he's quite good actually, yeah. he. I think he's learned his his style now. He like drops a knee and he gets on the floor. <laughs> I think like after me like telling him off so many times from like doing it at a height, I'm like, no one takes their photos from a height anymore. Like that's just not a thing. So yeah, he's got it under control. What is the perfect Instagram picture? Whilst you're here, because you like say your Instagram is perfect. So what is the perfect Instagram picture? The angle. The angle. I think like head head height. So if you're like yeah. standing up, mm-hmm. put, hold the phone, hold the camera like head height. We tell the camera. People watching on YouTube. Yeah. So like 
from your head <laughs> take a picture head. from there about this angle and then straight never like tilted never tilted up just straight Girls on in the room take note or sometimes i've seen like people get on the floor but i feel like that makes me look really tall yeah I feel like, like just gives hunt, me tension goals oh but when i take her photo she's like can you get down and i'm like yeah but really <laughs> And then she just like works it and has like these unreal photos. And you're like, oh, yeah. She I'm did like, that. whoa. And then I'm like, Adam, get on the floor. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, oh no, hate that. Gross. I literally can't have it. I would have like tensions. Yeah, Anyone tries me to do too. that to me, I'm like, uh, uh-uh, get up. Uh. No, don't like that. Yeah. Okay, so straight on. Straight Everybody on. take note. Mm-hmm. And what do you think's next for you and your boyfriend? You're gonna be getting a house together. Yeah. Is there gonna be any any well, future? I hope, well, yeah, I hope so. So we've got the house. I don't think we're moving in until like early next year. Okay. And my sister's getting married next summer. Wow. So I feel like hopefully after all of that, there will be, I don't know, marriage? I'm not sure. Ooh. I don't know. I'm not putting it out there. It's for him to decide. It's for him? Oh, okay, well, I hope you're listening. Yeah. Tune in. It's, it's on the pipeline. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. With your sister's wedding, will you be doing the makeup? Yeah. Oh my God. I right, I can't wait to see this wedding on the ground. Are I we going to see wait. pictures, do you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah I'm maid of honor, so. No way. Yeah. Is it the first time as well being maid of honor? I was maid of honor for my best friend last this summer. Oh my God. And I did all the makeup then, so I know the stress. <laughs> I bet your friends just love having you as a friend. Yeah. I bet they look amazing all the time. Like, you'd never look bad. Do you know what, though? It's bad. I feel like I don't have time. Like, if we go out, they'll be like, can yeah. I book in with you? And I'm like, I'm fully booked. Like, oh, I was fully booked like ages yeah. ago, and I can't even fit, fit them in to do their makeup. So, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> sorry, sorry but... I look glam, but <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, and what's next for you apart from your business what mm-hmm. is next do you think you'll ever want to branch out into any other industries or are you going to stick on beauty i was talking about this the other day like i would i know clothing has been not been done it's like one of the biggest things mm. but alongside beauty i would love to do like a tiny collection of like okay. i don't know what i wear every day yeah just like your style yeah like track suits or even pajamas or something that i literally live in yeah not like dresses because i hardly ever dress up but I feel like it would go nicely with Makeup with Polly. I could do like a Yeah, little... I can see that. I don't know. Put that into the universe. Yeah, then. I'm literally putting it out there. Okay. I'm not keeping it a secret because I feel like when you keep things a secret, you don't get as excited and then you sort of forget about it. Yeah, true. <laughs> so I'm like telling everyone Let's I've got see. a clothing brand coming Everybody out. Everybody listening. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Sneak peek. <laughs> and question, mm-hmm. would you ever go on reality TV? No. Okay. No, that was I a was straight talking... no. No, I was talking about this earlier and... I feel like, oh, who have you been yeah. talking with? They're asking all my questions. I know. <laughs> and I don't think I'm... Not that I'm not confident enough. I think mm. I'm confident enough, but I hate confrontation. Okay. And I hate, um, like, drama. Yeah. Yeah. Don't I'd that. rather see a clear of it. And, yeah, confrontation on camera would be my worst nightmare. I don't think I could do it. But I envy people that can because... Yeah. Obviously, it's such a good experience and you get loads from it, but I don't think I could. Okay. No. And for 2020, mm-hmm. next year, what can we expect? Have we got any big plans? We've already mentioned the Christmas and the spring collection. We've got spring collection, yep. Um, there is a there is something in the pipeline that hopefully will be out Ooh. soon. And it's like, I've literally wanted to launch it for so long. Stop. But I've had to go through loads of different manufacturers because I just can't find the right one basically i'm trying to know if i'm giving what it is can you give us any clues Mm, think like summer you know what you want to yeah i'm not even gonna mm -hmm. something that i get asked again after my after the boyfriend question (laughs) one of the biggest questions is that like what yeah okay i think i know I like you know you i know. think i know but i'm gonna keep it to myself because we're not gonna yeah. spoil it i'm gonna look yeah. forward to that well polly it's been amazing getting to know you today thank, thank you, you so, so much. much now before we go we are gonna go on to a dms round yeah which is an exciting round so for everybody watching on youtube you'll now need to click the link below and head over to itunes so you can hear the exclusive part of our podcast where i slide in to polly's dms <gasps> so this has been plt behind closed doors starring polly marchant and we will see you next week